On starting Ubuntu for the first time, select your language. Next, select Try Ubuntu without installing. Open Settings from the left-hand pane. Go to Software and Updates. Select the option shown and then click Close. Select Reload to begin downloading the necessary repositories. Once that completes, go ahead and close the Settings app. You'll want to have an Ubuntu 17.04 ISO ready for the next step. Open a Nautilus browser. Navigate to your USB and copy the Ubuntu 17.04 ISO from the drive to your desktop. Next, from the Unity Launcher, start Gparted. Select the USB you wish to make your persistent live Ubuntu drive. Right click the drive and unmount it. Right click the drive again and format the drive to either EXT3 or EXT4. Click the check mark to apply these changes to the drive. You can now label the drive if you choose so. I accidentally renamed my USB to Ubuntu 1604. Denied. Click the check mark again to apply these changes. After this is complete, take note of the drive's location. This drive is located in SDB. Minimize this window for reference later. Open a terminal session from the Unity Launcher. Before installing the USB drive creator, you'll have to add the repository by typing sudo add apt repository ppa colon mkusb slash ppa. Press enter to add it. Next, you'll update all repository listings by typing sudo apt update. Finally, you may install the program by typing sudo apt install mkusb. Press Y or enter when prompted to install. Once it is installed, you can run the program by typing mkusb. Select option D as it is the most user-friendly interface. Press OK to do USB stuff. We're going to select option 1 to install to a new USB drive.
Next, we'll select the Persistent Live option. This will prompt you to select an ISO. Navigate to your desktop to find the Ubuntu 17.04 ISO. Double click the image. Before selecting which drive to format, be sure to check where the drive is located from Gparted. This drive is located in SDB. Once confirmed, press OK to continue. Select the option shown and then press OK. When selecting the remaining space for persistence, it is recommended to not exceed 95%. Press OK to confirm changes. To confirm your options, select the Go radio button and then press the Go button. Select Yes to installing the USB Pack EFI and No to the Updates and Upgrades window. The process will begin and two windows will pop up. This may take some time. Once you see the Work Done dialog, you can close out any and all windows. Select the power gear icon from the top right corner and choose shut down. You will then restart your machine to boot from the USB. Thank you all so much for stopping by and watching my video. If you like what you see, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. Please do leave your comments and let me know what you would like to see me do next time. Everything is welcome. If you would like to see how to turn your 17.04 distro into a Mac-like setup, similar to what your Macbuntu did in the past, please leave those comments below as well. So until next time, namaste.